हरे कृष्णा डिटैचमेंट फ्रॉम रिजल्ट्स कम्स बेस्ट बाय अटैचमेंट टू समथिंग बिगर देन द रिजल्ट्स वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ऑफ्ट कोटेड वर्सेस इन द भगवद गीता इज कर्मण्यवाधिकारस्ते माँ फलेशु कदाचन माँ कर्म फल हे तुर्भुर माँ ते संगोस्व कर्मणि फिर कृष्णा सिंह कर्मण्य वाधिकार रस्ते यू हैव अ राइट टू डू योर वर्क माँ फलेशु कदाचन सर्टनली यू नॉट हैव अ राइट टू द रिजल्ट्स माँ कर्म फल हे तुर्भुर एंड फर्दर इज इट नॉट थिंक योर सेल्फ बी द कॉज ऑफ द रिजल्ट Mate sangostva karmani and don't be attached to not doing the work either. So here, uh, what does this verse actually mean? How can we work about, without um, being, uh, without being, uh, uh, without being concerned about the result? So, for example, if say somebody is cooking, then should that person not be concerned about how the food is cooked, how the how much the spicing, the salt, the sugar, whatever are the appropriate ingredients, whether they are put properly or not, should one be unconcerned about it at all, uh, entirely negligent? If we see, uh, the Bhagavad Gita was spoken by Krishna to Arjuna, and Arjuna himself was concerned about the results. And Arjuna was a uh, champion archer, and he became a champion archer by practicing relentlessly and practicing means and that it is not that he is just shooting arrows in the air here and there anywhere without considering the concern being concerned where the arrow goes no he became a champion archer by systematically striving to hit the bullseye to hit the target again and again and again so certainly when arjuna was shooting his arrows he was concerned about the result of hitting the target so so uh, literal uh, a literalist application of this verse that is not that we should not is in a, incorrect from the context of the com common sense as well as the context of the original student of the bhagavad gita that is arjuna so the point is that ma ma karman nivadi karaste ma phaleshu kadachana do not be attached to the results what does this mean this means that arjuna Uh, you be attached to something more than the results so when we work for the results alone then if the results don't come we become dejected and if the results come we become elated either way we may end up neglecting the path of growth how because if we become dejected uh, because of not getting the results we stop striving and if we become elated we also become so consumed with our own thoughts of greatness that we may not strive any more so krishna later on will tell arjuna in the 8th chapter that ma manusmara yuddhe cha mai arpit mano buddhi ma me vishyasya samshaya tasmat sarveshu kalesh therefore at all times remember me and fight and this way with your intelligence and mind mai arpit mano buddhi when you offer it to me ma me vishyasya samshaya you will certainly come to me arjuna so the point of the verse is that we should fix the mind in krishna we should become attached to krishna so uh, in the uh, in the in this verse comes in the second chapter where the context is karma yoga in karma yoga one may not know about krishna immediately in initially but still one understands that there is a higher spiritual dimension to one's life and one tries to cultivate awareness of that spiritual dimension so by working in a mood of detachment uh, that doesn't mean one is not concerned about the results but one is not consumed by the results then one works uh, for the purpose of uh, doing the work in a dutiful detached way for cultivating knowledge just like students who study only for getting marks they, they will not really study very deeply they will only think okay what will come in the exam what will come in the exam and they may get they may get the results but they will not get by by cramming and uh, regurgitating uh, the facts and formulas they may get the marks but they will not get uh, the deep understanding of the subject nor will they get the developed intelligence which comes by systematic study diligent study so for that they need to be moving for to develop that they need to move from 
uh, they, they should not, need not shouldn't be consumed just by the result of the marks, but they should be concerned about something higher. That is, the uh, getting an educated intelligence. And <clears throat> now, when Krishna says ma uh, ma kadachana, he is referring to material fruits. So, cultivation of the, the development of spiritual happen uh, spiritual knowledge that happens by working in a detached way that will not happen if one is consumed by thoughts of the results. When we work uh, with a detachment in the sense that we are not consumed by the results then we can see that actually uh, I am the doer but yet I am not the complete doer. Uh, there are many factors apart from me who also which also determine the result and in that way we become high, aware of a higher reality, we become aware of God and further in the process of bhakti, one works for Krishna's pleasure. So remembering Krishna, offering the fruits of the work to Krishna and when we understand that Krishna is concerned not just about the results but our efforts, then that has a liberating effect because that frees our mental energy from obsession with the result and from the anxiety over the result to focus on Krishna and offering our best to Krishna. And thus actually uh, the, a devotee uh, is concerned uh, about the result but is concerned not for the result for one's own sake but a devotee is concerned about Krishna and about offering the result to Krishna and if by Krishna's plan uh, after doing our effort somehow the result doesn't come out a devotee understands that still I offered my endeavor to Krishna and I connected myself with Krishna and that in and of itself is the greatest fruit that we can get from whatever work we do. So by so as devotees we are not meant to be responsible when Krishna says don't be attached to the fruits of the work. We should cultivate attachment to something far bigger than the fruits of the work. That is Krishna himself. And in that way not only will we not become irresponsible or negligent while doing the work but rather we will be able to do the work better than what we would have been able to do if our Consciousness was consumed by and agitated by anxiety about the result. Thank you. Hare Krishna.